Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new mini series on Gulp. What is Gulp? Gulp is an automation tool which helps us automate most development activities like minification of code, cleaning up, converting SCSS preprocessor files into CSS, creating a dist output for JS files, converting TSX which is TypeScript files into JS and much much more. Often in big enterprises or any large enterprise you would find yourself using Gulp to do this mundane routine activities of development. This series will help you understand Gulp and also help you learn different automations that you can quickly integrate in your applications. This is part one of the series. Let's get started. Today we will do the introduction and then we'll do the installation, plugins, compiling, file manipulation, watch and much more. Alright, so let's start with Gulp. Gulp is a powerful automation tool for streamlining various different tasks. Now these tasks are something that every developer will need on a daily basis, especially when you're building your code. Gulp is written in JavaScript and utilizes the Node.js platform, allowing developers to leverage the vast NPM ecosystem of plugins. Gulp serves as a task runner, helps helping developers define and automate repetitive tasks like minification, compilation, and testing. Gulp follows the code over configuration philosophy, hence emphasizing a simple expressive API. Gulp operates on the concepts of streams and allows developers to efficiently manipulate files by piping them through various plugins. Gulp's functionality can be extended. There are a lot of plugins that we use uh, or readily available that can help us integrate and automate our tasks. I'll be covering around seven to eight plugins as part of the series, which are mostly commonly used. Gulp promotes uh, maintainable and readable build scripts that are more code centric and which will help uh, achieve the tasks effectively. Last, with the help of plugins like Browser Sync, Gulp facilitates live uh, or hot reloading, which enables developers to see changes in real time. Gulp has widespread adoption and hence a strong documentation and support. All right. So that's the basic introduction of what Gulp is and why you should learn it because obviously, like I said, it's used in a lot of enterprises, a lot of projects use it. And hence, as a developer, you should learn and master Gulp as well. Please join me in the next episode where we'll talk about the installation of Gulp and do the initial prerequisites to set up. Right. Thank you so much. I hope you will enjoy this series. I hope you will learn from this series. Please do hit that like button for me and subscribe button to keep supporting me. Thank you so much.